It's already been an incredible year for SpaceX. Now, if weather allows, the space company is hoping to cap off the year locally with a doubleheader tonight, launching both the Falcon Heavy and the Falcon 9 just hours apart. News 6's James Barvero has more on the record-breaking year and what you can expect tonight. Three, two, one. From launch number one to number 70, go Falcon, go the Space Coast shattered its annual launch record in 2023. Now tonight, a SpaceX doubleheader could cap off the most prolific year ever with launches 71 and 72. First, a Falcon Heavy rocket is carrying the military's top secret X-37B space plane and later, a Falcon 9 rocket could launch the latest mission for SpaceX's internet constellation, Starlink. It's a phenomenal launch rate. You know, I never thought I'd see anything like that when I started working out here. I'm interviewing space expert Bill Harwood from CBS in the same spot where Walter Cronkite would anchor the Apollo missions. And on this eve of man's first flight toward a landing on the moon. Like Bill. Uncle Walter probably couldn't have dreamed of when Florida's lieutenant governor last month said 100 launches could happen in 2024. The busiest year back in the 60s saw just 31 rockets launch at the Cape. Bill, as long as I've worked here, there have been people who have told me that one day they think there's going to be a launch every day. That's been as long as SpaceX has been flying these flight-proven boosters. Just how long might it take to make that vision a reality? It would take uh, more people, more hardware. And, and definitely more launch pads, I think, to make one a day uh, possible. But you know what? I never thought I'd see rockets landing out here either. Maybe they can get the technology down to where they can do that, but I think that's a fair ways off. Tonight's launches are scheduled at 8.07 and 11.01. Again, that's Falcon Heavy with the space plane first and Falcon 9 with Starlink second. We'll stream both launches on ClickOrlando.com. On the Space Coast, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.